broccoli is truly amazing. As we learned in a previous video, it contains particular phytonutrients that boost our liver's ability to destroy carcinogens, cancer-causing chemicals. To see that video, you can click the link above. Not only does eating broccoli boost our liver, but it can prevent DNA damage and metastatic cancer spread, help to prevent lymphoma, targets breast cancer stem cells, reduces the risk of prostate cancer progression, and helps our bodies defend against pathogens and pollutants. It's believed that something called sulforaphane is what's responsible for these incredible benefits. Sulforaphane is derived from glucosinolates and is formed in nearly all cruciferous vegetables, including kale, arugula, cabbage, cauliflower, spring greens, mustard greens, radishes, watercress, etc. However, to get the full benefit of the sulforaphane, we really need to eat cruciferous veg raw. Or, we can use a clever technique Dr. Michael Greger discusses in this article. Basically, there's an enzyme that doesn't activate the sulforaphane until raw broccoli is either chewed or chopped. That enzyme, however, is destroyed by cooking. Unless you wait. So the trick is to first chop the broccoli or cruciferous veg and then wait roughly 40 minutes. It's at this point you can cook it. So what about frozen broccoli? We saw in another previous video that frozen broccoli can actually contain more vitamin C, lutein and up to four times the amount of beta carotene than fresh broccoli. The problem is that most vegetables are flash cooked before they're frozen. And so frozen broccoli doesn't have the ability to form sulforaphane, even if you wait. However, if you sprinkle some mustard powder over cooked frozen broccoli, you can activate the sulforaphane. This is because the enzyme you need for the sulforaphane is also contained in mustard powder. With this mustard powder hack, you don't even have to wait the 40 minutes. You can sprinkle it straight on cooked broccoli. Dr. Greger has written an incredible book called How Not to Die where he examines the 15 top causes of death in America and explains how nutritional and lifestyle interventions can often outperform medication and help us live healthier lives. Jam-packed full of peer-reviewed scientific evidence, Dr. Greger also shows us which foods to eat and which lifestyle changes to make so we can live longer. It's a New York Times bestseller and I highly recommend you get yourself a copy. Links will be in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.